In this video I'm gonna take a look at this Great Joy 50mm anamorphic lens for full-frame cameras. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I'll take a look at this Great Joy 50mm T2.9 anamorphic lens for full-frame cameras. But first the disclaimer, this is a review sample from Great Joy and that's why I have to put the paid promotion label down here. And I'll also include a link down below for the lens, but it's not an affiliate link, I'll get nothing from it. But I'll put it there just in case um, you want to buy this lens after you watch my video. Anamorphic lenses are getting more and more popular and we also see more and more these budget-friendly anamorphic lenses like this great Joy 50mm T2.9 and that is great news because it makes that gorgeous anamorphic look available even on a tight budget. So this Great Joy is a brand new anamorphic lens. The focal length is 50 millimeters, the maximum T-stop is T2.9 and the anamorphic ratio is 1.8. And this is a full frame lens. And of course this is a fully manual lens. Everything is manual, focus, aperture and there is no electronic connection between the lens and the camera. This review sample is for L-mount but this lens is available for other mounts as well. I'll put them all up here. And my test camera for this review was the Lumix S1. The build quality feels really good. The exterior is made of metal and everything feels really solid and robust. Both rings are stepless, also the T-stop ring of course because this is a movie lens and the focus ring has a nice smooth and long travel so it's easy to set uh, uh, desired focus and also easy to do focus pulls. And both rings are geared of course so this lens is ready to be mounted on a rig. The filter size is 82 millimeters and this weighs in at about 1100 grams. So this is quite a bit bigger than a 50 millimeter photo lens. But the size is probably not any kind of a problem because uh, the lens is just uh, usually just a very small part of any kind of a, even a, a small budget movie production. But this lens is not too heavy even for a one man production team and this is easy to handle and uh, operate even without a rig and handheld. The anamorphic ratio is 1.8. So with this great Joy 50mm T2.9 lens, you're going to get that gorgeous anamorphic wide aspect ratio. And even though the focal length is 50mm, which is like a standard lens for a full frame camera, this feels like a wide angle. And when you think about it, the horizontal angle of view equals to about the 27 millimeter lens. So this is actually more like a wide angle than a standard lens. Optically, this is quite a solid lens and the sharpness is really good, even wide open, but it of course improves when you stop down the lens. But of course, the ultimate sharpness is probably not necessary or even desirable for many movie productions. I think it's much more important to have a certain look or feel in the picture rather than ultimate sharpness. And I think this great Joy 50mm T2.9 delivers quite pleasing looking picture, at least to my eyes. There is a little bit of a pincushion type of distortion, especially towards the left and the right side of the picture. But I never found those uh, too distracting. Besides, you can see lens distortions even in many big budget Hollywood movies. And I think movie people are much more relaxed when it comes to lens distortions. And I think we photographers take lens distortions much more seriously, maybe a little bit too seriously sometimes. The bokeh 
in general looks quite pleasing to my eyes and it certainly looks like a proper anamorphic bokeh. However, because the maximum t-stop is only 2.9, you can't really blur the background that much if your subject is not very close to the camera or the lens. So it would be nice to have another version of this lens with a little bit brighter maximum t-stop like t1.8 or something. But other than that, the bokeh really looks like a proper anamorphic bokeh, which is very important because that's what you are probably after if you are shooting on a lens like this. Another very important anamorphic feature is the horizontal lens flare. And this lens delivers quite good looking horizontal lens flare. It's very distinct, but it's not too strong. Some anamorphic lenses produce really strong horizontal flare, which can almost become a distraction in some type of shots. All in all, I would say that this Great Joy 50mm T2.9 is a very nice budget-friendly anamorphic option, and it certainly delivers that gorgeous-looking anamorphic wide aspect ratio. The price for this lens varies from $11.99 to $14.99 depending on the mount, but I'll put a link down below for Great Joy's Indiegogo page so you can have a proper look. It's not an affiliate link, I'll get nothing from it, but I'll just put it there for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.